Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, which is actually a re-recording because I decided to leave my mic muted on the previous one, um, we're going to look at some basic multiplayer and basic replication or like to get you started with a, an understanding of replication. Um, this is actually the limit of my knowledge so far. I, I'm going to look into it a little bit more, but um, just to get you guys started, I'll tell you what I know. Um, so basically what I've got here is just a third person template completely fresh and if I hit play you'll see it's just a normal normal situation. The only difference is I've set my um, my view mode to be a new editor window just so then I get a new separate window popped up. And realistically while we're in this menu what we can do for multiplayer options here as it's appropriately named is we can set the players to two. Now, what this will do is it'll actually give you two separate versions of your game in standalone. So the this currently won't be multiplayer. So you can see we've got two game modes here, or two windows. And effectively, these are two separate versions of your game. Uh, they have no way of uh, sort of like integrating with each other. There's no sort of communication between the two. What we can do, though, is if we go back to this menu and set the net mode to play as client, what this does is it as it suggests there it starts a server behind the scenes which is going to host both of the clients both of the players um, and that way they're on the same server so everything that um, everything that happens on one player's screen will hopefully replicate onto another player's screen so if we press play now you'll see we get two characters and when I run around, you can see that that is updating on the second player's screen. Um, and also, if you notice up at the top where it says uh, multiplayer preview, the net mode is client one and client two. So that's two separate clients that are connected to the server, which has been hosted in the background. Um, so that's very basic multiplayer, uh, admittedly. Now, if we want to go into a bit of replication and how things... Um, sort of work behind the scenes uh, let's let's try and spawn a cube into the world so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this blue cube here and i'm just going to click on this convert to reusable blueprint and just turn this cube into an actor uh, so i'm going to keep it where it is i'm going to call it companion cube um, whoop. companion cube just like that and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spawn this on my character so over to my third person character now um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in E keyboard uh, just to get a, a key to, to sort of action this spawn so E key and then what we want to do from that is spawn actor from class and the class that we want to spawn is our companion cube that we've just made here we go um, and obviously we're going to need a transform to spawn this now what I'd like to do um, realistically is get my actor transform or location I guess would do Ooh, location and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also get my actors forward vector uh, effectively what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up the nodes to put the cube directly in front of my character so the forward vector is which way is my character facing and then similarly to if you've ever made a line trace we're going to do a multiply and we're going to convert this bottom multiply into a float value and I'm going to say 200 units so effectively this is what direction are we facing and how far in front what we should do then is just add these two together because this is where we are and this is how far in front of that location we want to go what we'll do with the spawn transform is just split that and plug this into the location because we don't want any default rotation and we don't want the scale to change from one to one hit compile hit play and then what you'll notice is if I press the E key I've got cubes spawning but what you'll notice is they're only spawning on this client's screen because at the moment the server actually doesn't like know that that's um, been requested to spawn it's aware that the blocks are there but it's not been replicated to everybody else on the server so if I was to flick over to the other player now we can run around and we can bump into these cubes but we don't actually see the cubes because they're not replicated so what I'm gonna do is to make them replicated there's a couple of things that we need to do so firstly let's just disconnect this um, e key oops let's not do that 
Um, let's disconnect that. And what we need to do is we need to actually say that to spawn this cube is an actual event, an actual action. So I'm going to do a custom event. So add a custom event. I'm just going to call it spawn cube. And um, when we call this event, everything else is going to stay the same. However, with the spawn cube event highlighted like this, over in the top right, you'll see in your details pattern, paddle um, replicates. And at the moment, it's not set to replicate. So if we click on that, we can say run this on the server. So if effectively, what's going to happen here is when we run this node, our character is still going to create the cube, but the actual request will come from the server. So the server is aware that a cube has been placed in the world. And what we need to do now is we just need to call this spawn cube. So when I press E, I'm going to do spawn cube. And here it is, the call function. And you'll notice now that um, it says this act, that this is replicated to the server. So if we hit compile now and hit play, what you'll notice is nothing happens. So I'm pressing E now and nothing happens. However, it is happening, but it's not being, the actual cube itself is not being replicated. So if I walk around, I, I, you can see that my character is kind of janky a little bit. That's because on the server, which is hosting my character's movement, I'm actually bumping into cubes. They're just not visible for us. So, these cubes exist only on the server now, and they're not replicated back to the client. So what you need to do is go to the companion cube, which we've been spawning, and scroll down until you get to replication. So here we go, replication. And we just want to tick this box here, saying replicates. Now, what this does is when we spawn the cube, it's spawned on the server, and then the server replicates that back to the client. So now if I press player and hit E, you'll notice on both my client and the second client, these cubes are spawning. And if I switch over to my second player, I can create cubes as well, and they replicate as you'd expect. And now you can do all sorts of nonsense. So that's really the limit of my knowledge at the moment. Um, obviously, you can already apply this to several things um, or several different games, um, just them actions alone. Um, as my knowledge grows, I'm going to make more videos about it, um, but hopefully this should be enough of an understanding, enough of a basics for you to get started with some um, multiplayer aspects. So if that was helpful for you, please consider giving the, the video a like. Um, if you want to talk about this or suggest things to look into, feel free to comment down below. Links to the Discord server are down below as well. That's where I spend most of my time. Um, easier to share videos and uh, screenshots and stuff like that. Uh, so feel free to come over. And if you want to see more content, obviously subscribe. But I'll leave that up to you. But for now, thank you and see you in another video.